Hi, all. In the last session, we saw how we can you know, do the validation in the business object model and how we can write the message with the help of the system message structure in the validation class. So, as we know, okay, in EO message, in the framework, um, so I, I'm in the determination class, one of the determination class where we write the messages. So here, what we done, we created the uh, message object, then we build the message structure. So what is my message ID, number and type and variable. Then I pass the value and finally I push the messages to my EO object to the framework message structure. So if you know this type of this interface, so you have here, there are multiple way of, we can add the message to the, uh, the framework message object. So one way we used it, add messages. There is something called add CM messages. This is based upon your message class or the exception classes, class based, you know, you can raise that. And then this is again the exceptions. So if you want to get, if you are, if you know, if in this interface, now if you are using this method, get messages, if you see the parameter of that, it has a structure, you know, exporting table, which is a type of framework message. If you go here, after building a lot of messages in your framework, so you want to get, read the messages from the framework message object and find out whether that particular message or the particular instance is being part of that message object or not. So you have to use this method to get the messages from the framework object and read the information and validate it. So if you see this structure of your EO message, get message exporting table, now it has your BO, it has your key where the instance has been raised. Then it also have the node key. Also it has your validation key and what is your error type. See this, there is a message object, which is a type of this one. So this is it's a, another, class if you open this class it is the exception class if you see here it is being marked as a category the class category as an exception class which use a dynamic super classes cx underscore dynamic check so this is way this way also you should be able to create the messages and build your messages in your framework let's see how we can create the exception class and how we can use this exception class to add our messages into the framework object. Okay, let's go back to SE24 first and create the exception class. Okay, so let's open a separate session. Let's open a separate session and open SE24. Let me create a new uh, message exception class. He said, so I normally class will go with the CL. So message class. So I just want to go with the CM underscore B O B F. Um, so I'll say is order. Um, I'll just give the name like this. I'll go for create. So I use that, you uh, know, the super classes, this one, or otherwise you can go for a PO. Um, you can also use slash, you know, this one, BOB of CM, FRW, that's also you can use it because this class uses the super classes, the same one, the static one. And harder BO message object. So I say it's a instance i want that to be you know even this class can be inherited further so i don't want to mark it as final make sure that now normally you go with the usual abap class so i just want to go with the exception class with messages message class and exception text okay so i just want to go with the exception classes say yes and save it as a local object so you are class is ready so by default the class will bring some information from the super class so there are some interfaces implemented and there are some more additional methods all are is a public method available
normally we are not going to write any class you know, add, add any additional um, you know, method here we don't need to do that mostly we want to capture the texts so the messages information i want to capture it here and the attribute which i want to show if you see that there are a lot of attribute you see here this one has the lifetime status when you are when you are try to you know let's i will mean, go back to the determination now if you try to consume this method there will be another attribute called lifetime so how the lifetime of the message in the framework do you want to have a um no um transient or maybe till save till the buffer clear so there are a lot of options you have a state lifetime status transient status then you have your severity severity is nothing but your whether that is error message info message success message or warning messages all that can be created here that's a way you can do the messages so now um so there is you can see this is a class which has some more attribute most of them is a public attribute there are some constants which is been inherited from the super class so how now see how we can add the text the message text into the the message class exception classes let's go back to the text so you have here there is an option called add we can so we can go for it so you can provide okay so i want to have that to be um, this message so this message which we say it's order saved successfully so order id saved successfully so i say order id saved successfully and okay so for this message text for this message text if you go here message class let me go back to the determination class again and i'll get this message id and the number 112 so i say 112 also we are using a message variable 1 as well as message variable 2 okay so we have to tell them okay what is the attribute i'm going to use it here so we don't have any attribute as of now what i'm going to do i'm going to put it like this save i'll come back to attributes i add a few attribute clear okay um i say mb one you can put it any format i'll just go with the um public you can also store the value in private mb underscore text to instance public since I am using a true variable in my uh, message, I can declare two variable if you want. So always we'll have four variables. So I can go for uh, another. And also the third, fourth variable, text for since public and you you have option called browse and select this is an instance attribute all that stuff okay so but even also if you type it in and then you put it be used for public and then you type string and when you press enter so system will you know bring the right value option here so i have four variable has been added here and press save and i'll come back to the text again and select it go for add okay so here i have a variable you can attribute one i want to use this and attribute two i want to use this variable so you can see here now this has been it will be adjusted according to that so you can see so here you have the first variable and then you have a second variable and then the corresponding text will be available so now your messages your exception class has been added with the attribute if you go back to your method and see your constructor in the constructor you should be having it so these are the you know attribute you can pass it so you can also see here these all the values are available you know as a importing value to the constructor which you can pass it the system will automatically generate the code to map the value if you go here in the code okay you should be having a you know um so this one you can see here this one has been generated whatever the member variable you pass it will be added here 
okay so now our class is ready text is ready attributes are ready let's save this and um, generate it check and generate it so select all so now your message class is ready in the next class we see how we can use this message class in our um, uh, business object determination or maybe validation part thank you